In this video, I'm going to show you how to rebuild this 18 volt DeWalt battery that's clearly dead. Let's just hook up the voltmeter to it real quick and just see where it's at. 12.73 volts. This battery needs brand new cells. We're going to take this bad boy upstairs to the welder. We're going to show you how to rebuild it from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our 18 volt DeWalt. So this got here, I think, a Torx bit. We're just going to spin all these out. set them aside. I usually put them right in here. And then to get this top off, you're just going to want to remove it. That's what it's going to look like inside. Now this is one that's been rebuilt before. You can kind of tell because there's solder here. Obviously it's not from the manufacturer, so it's been rebuilt. And you got to open it up here. So the main thing you're going to want to do first is while you're looking at this, so this is how it goes back in here. You're going to want to take this, flip it around, and then just peel this off. Because you're going to want to be able to see inside the orientation that these are all laid out. So the positive, negative. See, I can start to see now this is a negative positive, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive, negative, and vice versa. So once you get this far and you can tell what your cells are, you're all set. You wouldn't have to go any further. Set that aside. Now you're going to want to start welding your negative and positives together. So you, I'm going to do, this battery here has 15 cells. 14 of them are hooked up together. Six, eight, 10, 12, 14. We got our 14 cells here welded together, and then we got our one single cell. We're going to show you how to put them together. For this step here, what I like to do is this is why I was showing you earlier to take all that tape off. So, what I'll do is I'll turn this upside down like this and map it out. So, we'll do the same layout as this here. So, we want to just follow move off this. All right, gotcha here. All we're doing is just copy paste here. Got that. And there you go. Now that I have that, the next thing I do is I take the case. And since this is the bottom now, I want to put this nice little 3M shrink here to protect it from water damage. This part here can go on here now. So let's see. Flip it around. Nice and tight right in there. Now we got our shrink wrap there at the bottom so it's not moving around all loose. And then once we put our top piece on too, it'll be nicer and more snug. So for this step now that we got this far, we're gonna just peel the wrap off the top of here. And we're gonna do the same thing now and weld these top cells. So. What do we got here? This is a positive, negative, positive, negative. Just verify all your connections. Negative, positive, negative. There should be a positive here, another positive here, a negative, a negative, positive, positive, negative, and a positive. So that's all right. We can keep that here aside. And then we're gonna go ahead and weld this now and then just follow, like I said, the same way this is connected and then we'll go from there. So, like I said, just keep this next to you right here. Just follow the same thing. So, we got negative, positive here.
Now you're always going to be connecting a positive to a negative, so you will know if you're doing something wrong. If you are connecting a positive to a positive or a negative to a negative, this is always going to follow positive, negative, positive, negative till you get all the way up to the voltage that you're rebuilding your battery. All right, this is as far as we're gonna go in this step. These here, I'm gonna show you in the next step what we're gonna do with them. So we got our battery put together here. This is our single cell. So the only thing we'll need from this old battery now is we're gonna need this top connecting piece. And then this is the thermostat that gets connected to the side, to the negative here. And then you definitely want this. You don't wanna lose this. This riser will sit underneath here. And without it, obviously, these batteries can short and without it, it actually will not make a good connection to the charger. So you won't actually be able to charge this battery because it won't be sticking up far enough. So we're gonna set this to the side right here. We're gonna take our solder and iron. Go ahead and just give that a nice clean. We're gonna go ahead and tin it. And we're gonna just start desoldering this connection here. So we got that part off. Make sure you don't touch that with your hands. Now we get this part. Now this was, you can tell this was built very poorly. Um, a customer brought this in. I don't know where he had it taken last, but this obviously here, we're gonna do a little bit better on this rebuild for him. So let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna to try to get a screwdriver for this and get underneath it. So for now, I'm just gonna get this thermistor off real quick. There we go, clean that off. And then let me grab a screwdriver and see if I can pry that from underneath. I'm gonna get this bed boy hot again and see what's going on here. There we go. All right, clean that off, set it in here. These old cells, we're just gonna set aside. I wouldn't just toss all these in a bin together. Some of them still could have voltage. So you wanna make sure when you recycle these, you tape them up or at least check the voltage and make sure they're dead, that's all. Now that I got this top piece here, I'm gonna take this wire brush here and just give this guy a little bit of cleaning. So you can just tell a little bit, these are starting to corrode. So I just wanna, And then down here a little bit on this guy here that's going to get connected to the battery. I'll just put it up against here and just kind of give it a little. This was just making make it easier to get any glue or old crud off. That way when I'm soldering the new connection, it'll solder a lot quicker. So now that we have our little top piece here that's going to go here, I'm going to show you how to connect this part and what to do here with these two cells that are left. So we're going to take here our little 3M seal water seal thingy here and we're going to throw that bad boy right on there. And you're going to see now there's going to be still this cell open and that one right there. So we're going to take this back to the welder and raise this guy up a little bit. Now for this part, you know, there's a lot of ways to do it, but I don't like to solder right to a battery, so I always put a piece of nickel strip. This gives me the ability to wrap this nickel strip around that connecting piece so I can actually make a better connection with the solder later on. So what I'll do here is weld this on here, and I'll show you what we do with it. 
So we got that part done. Now what I'm going to do here is, obviously, like I said before, positive to negative. We're going to take the positive. Oh, bring this welder down a little bit. Oh, actually, little guy here. So this longer piece here, the reason I'm going to put a longer one is because I'm going to actually bend it over so I can get it to come across. I'll show you. So we got one, two, three. Now what I want to do is pretty much get an idea. So I usually cut it a little longer and then usually come with it like that. And then you're going to just set your top piece there. So we could probably trim this off a little bit, but it's not really necessary. It just makes more connection anyway. But you can just go. Now I'll flip this back, set it down, and then we'll grab this piece from earlier. What I like to do here, give it a little hot glue, and this makes sure this thing never moves again, so it's always in the same spot. Just set it right there, and bam. You got your top piece now and your whole rest of your battery. We're going to put another piece of nickel strip right here on top. So for this part, I just like to weld something small right about there, just where this lines up here on the cell. This will also help me again when I'm soldering this connection in the end. So I'm just going to raise my welder up here a little bit, line this guy right underneath, get it to right about there. We're just going to weld it. Another trick, so this isn't moving on you, what you can do is take the hot glue, put a little hot glue in here. This right here, obviously that's what this hole is for. You can just take this, line it up right in the center. The hot glue will just make sure this stays on and you're all set now. So all we got to do now is make this connection. So we're going to solder here. I'll trim these back, actually. There we go. So just to make it, there we go. We'll just do that. And just solder that, solder the top, and then solder this thermostat. So let's just start. I usually like to start from the bottom, work my way up. So I'm just going to heat this guy up here a little bit. Start getting some solder flow. It does a good trick too, is if you leave this on for a couple seconds, just let this get warm because the nickel strip will get hotter a lot faster than the metal around it. And there you go. Just wait for that to solidify. You can just start telling when it solidifies. So we'll just jump up to here, make this connection. Now don't forget I put that piece underneath here so that solder is going down to the metal and then it's just sticking to the top. But I usually will put a little bit of solder all around like that, make a nice little connection like, so it doesn't come off easy. All right, for this final part, let's just make sure this is on here. That's on here. We're going to trim this back just a little bit and we're going to solder the thermistor and we can put this back together. So for right here, I'm just going to take a little razor to the cell. We're going to just kind of get in there right there. There we go. All you need is just a little piece right here. Anything just to put it to the negative. So that should do it. We'll flip this on its side so when we're soldering, it doesn't drip down on us. Clean our soldering iron again. I'm going to tin it. We're just going to make a little nice blob here. So we'll just take a little solder, see that sticking right there, and then we're just going to want to make that connection. There. That's on there. We'll take the voltmeter to this, see where our voltage is, and uh, see if we did anything wrong. Hopefully we didn't, but you never know. All right, let's grab the voltmeter. Test it before we put it all back together. What are we getting here? 
So 19.18. So obviously this is way higher now than, you know, earlier in the video. So we can put this back together, put it on the charger, make sure it takes a charge and should be all set. So for the top, we're just gonna wanna make sure these are in there right. So they're snapping back and forth. A lot of times they like to come loose when you take them apart. And then you're just gonna line this guy here. Now it's a little bit of a squeeze. Obviously a lot of manufacturers, their shrink wrap or their cells is a little bit, but the biggest problem I've seen it happen is usually right here in that little corner, just like right there. But all we can do is just kind of get in there with a flat head like that and just push it in. And there you go, you'll hear it snap. And now we will put all the screws back in. Just make sure you don't over torque these, just screw them too hard, just go nice and slow. Once you hear that noise, you just wanna let off. All right, these are working. They should click inside the drill. Let's go take it downstairs, put it on the charger and see if it takes a charge. Here's the final test. We're just gonna put that guy in the charger. There you go, it's taking a charge. Now you would know if this had any issues when this blinks really fast, it usually means it has a thermistor problem. So if you didn't do that thermistor part right, this will start blinking. So open it back up and check again. But I've done these so many times now, um, I'm not surprised that it's working. Again, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this content, please like, comment, or subscribe.